Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. You ever drive those long, lonely, two-lane country roads when it's dark and you have trouble seeing and you don't know if a deer is going to run out of the ditch or not? Well, I got a mod that you might be interested in. Check it out. So today I wanted to talk to you about my 2007 Chevrolet Silverado right back here behind me. I think they call it the eighth generation uh, GM truck. Uh, and what I'm gonna show you and tell you about today is about the headlights. Um, these trucks originally from the factory, low beams would burn. And then when you select your high beams, this light would come on and this one would go out. So you would only have two light bulbs burning at one time. You either have your high beams or your low beams and they would never burn together unless you grabbed a hold of the selector on the steering column and actually pulled it backwards. And they call that passing uh, where you can flash your lights at people. Um, but that's the only time that you could get all four of those to stay on. Now, I recently learned of a very inexpensive and I'm talking about less than a dollar inexpensive um, mod that you can do on these trucks. Now remember, Chevy, GMC, um, Silverados, Sierras, this will also work on some Tahoes, and I heard that it might work on Colorados and a few other GM uh, vehicles as well. But um, if you have a vehicle that has four lights and only two of them burn at a time, this mod might be for you. So let's check it out. Okay, so I did this mod the other day um, and I'm gonna show you what I did. But basically, we're going to open up the hood and we're gonna go into the fuse box that's underneath the hood. And yeah, it's kind of dirty, but I drive this truck all the time. So here's the fuse box right here, okay? So you just pop this lid off and inside, it gives you all the locations, actually it's upside down, but it gives you all the locations of all the fuses and all the relays that's inside this fuse box. And I'm talking about right here. Now, I'm gonna give you a real close look at this and then I'm gonna explain what you're looking at. So, this right here is the low beam uh, controller. Uh, I don't know if they call that a relay or not, um, but this is for low beams. This one right here is for high beams. And you'll notice that it says high and low. Now, if you also look real close, you see that that's a diode in there. And a diode is basically like a one-way electrical check valve. It'll allow electricity to pass one direction, but not back the other direction. Now, I took that diode and I put it in pin 85 of the low beam, and I'm gonna call it a relay, I don't know that that's the correct word or not, but I put it in pin 85 of the low beam. And I ran the other end of it over to the high beam and also put it pin 85. And these pins are labeled. Remember when I showed you this? The pins, the pins are labeled and it'll tell you which one's which. Well. The diode, the only thing you need to know about putting this diode in there is diodes have a stripe on them. This one's got a stripe and you wanna make sure that the stripe is closest to the high beam relay. You know, farthest away from the low beam. Let me see if I can show that to you real quick. If you look real carefully, there's a silver gray stripe on the end of that diode right there and you'll notice that it's on the end of the wire going underneath the high beams. So what that does is that actually connects pin 85 
between the low beam and high beam. Now, power can go between from the high beam to the low beam when you select high beams. That's when pin 85 of the high beam becomes energized, right? And it allows that power to go from pin 85 of the high beams to pin 85 of low beams, thus turning on the low beam lights. So when you select brights, you're actually burning all four of the light bulbs instead of just two. Now, because the diode only allows uh, energy transfer in one direction, it will not allow the power when you're in low beams to flow to high beam. It won't allow it. It'll only allow it to flow the opposite direction. So I'm just gonna turn the lights on real quick and I know that it's quite bright out here and I don't know that you'll be able to see them. But that's my headlights are on. And as you can see, that light is on and that light is on. Thus, I have all four of my lights burning at the same time. And that's in bright. And then I'll go ahead and unselect the brights, the high beams. And now as you can see low beam, no high beam. Low beam, no high beam. So this concept will actually work um, if you want to turn on fog lights as well, because this resist or uh, this relay right here, this gray box, is for the fog lights, and you can do the same thing with with a relay or excuse me a diode, and you can run between the fog lights and the high beams. That way, when you turn on your high beams, you turn on your low beams, you turn on your fog lights, you turn on all the lights on the, I mean, that's the whole point to me anyway, is I wanna see, I want light. And so hitting your high beam selector would turn on all the lights if you have fog lights or driving lights on there, on your, uh, your truck, your car, whatever. So anyway, I hope you guys found that uh, interesting. Now I do encourage before you go and do this modification to your vehicle, um, do a little bit of research on your own and make sure that you're not going to mess something up. All right, um, I, I I just can't be responsible for somebody you know short circuiting their car or whatever. But this is what I have done, and this is the result of it, and it works really well for me. So uh, check it out if you're interested. But. Either way, I really appreciate you guys watching. Take care, God bless, and remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.